so much love and pain joy and devastation happiness and resentment are collected in our souls and hearts as we fail to experience those feelings fully because of the speed of life inability to face them no other reasons the thing is those feelings tend to unpack themselves <laughs> and often not in the right moment we all have our own speed but it seems like everyone around us tries to suck us up in a whirlpool of emotions constant marketing pressure last day of sale one day deal only don't miss this opportunity book now you'll be late register now last minute offer now or never fast food fast music fast fashion fast sex fast training fast weight loss keep it together Lately, quality got replaced with quantity. We are stuffing ourselves non-stop with news and movies, songs and books, TV shows and trainings, parties and exhibits, networking events, you name it. Without even reflecting, looking at it quietly or discussing it with friends. We are stuffed to the brim with unprocessed information. We are allowing ourselves to talk to a friend and post to Facebook at the same time. We are going to business meetings to a restaurant and are losing the ability to savor the food and enjoy the ambience. We could ditch the TV and spend a little more time reading books and singing songs on the porch sit here watching the daylight wane leaving little chains and even less memory i just want to be still i just want to be still Oftentimes, life situations truly require immediate action, so we act according to the situation and we do what's needed, but the time is needed after the event to process the thoughts and emotions and feelings and reflect on what had happened. This time, we owe to ourselves. Time is the most valuable currency. To me, to have a good time, to enjoy it, means to steal an hour or a day <laughs> from the mad race and give myself a moment to catch up, a moment to celebrate life. I love to celebrate life with all my senses, to see, to smell, to taste, to feel, to laugh and to cry. I can feel all of it. Making the time to find comfort and solitude and silence is often seen like unaffordable luxury. After all, if you've been quiet and reflecting, you're not accomplishing anything, right? Seemingly. <laughs> It's humanly impossible to just keep going and going without ever stopping to rest. Even machines need downtime for repairs and maintenance. The human body and mind is no different. With the exception of 
the mind that often tries to influence continuous action at the expense of physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. Take your time. Reflect. Relax. Be alive.